Hello everyone, I'm James Milan. Welcome to this ACMI Music Special. We are in ACMI's Studio A with some old friends of ours, in fact, uh, veterans of appearances in this studio going back a number of years. They are Bees Deluxe, and um, they have agreed to be guinea pigs, which I hear they have, you know, have been uh, in the recent past at other venues. Um, for us, with a return to Studio A and live music for your listening pleasure and ours. Um, so I had mentioned that this is not their first rodeo here at ACMI. Um, you know, Bees Deluxe was involved in Blues Apocalypse, a, an annual fundraiser for the Arlington Center for the Arts for several years and we got them into the studio as a promo for some of those appearances and then they also went out on tour a couple of years ago um pandemic be damned or maybe it was before was it right before just before right it was in 2019 right yeah um and we had them in at that time too they play acid blues and they play it well so we're delighted to have you guys thanks so much for joining us again we really appreciate it. I'm going to ask you just to introduce the band members, please, Thanks. sir. Thanks, James. Mm -hmm. On keyboards and harmonica and vocals, Carol Band. From Arlington. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on drums behind me, Paul Giovanni. And on bass and vocals, Jim Gilday. And my name is Conrad War. I'm from another country. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, you know, Conrad just mentioned, or... Carol did, uh, that she is from Arlington. That is our Arlington connection, but we feel like, given the fact that this is the band's fourth appearance at Studio A, they're all honorary Arlingtonians at this point. So um, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the band just to play uh, a set of music, I, probably nine songs, I think, uh, divided into little subsets of three, and we'll take little breaks um, between those subsets. But let us not delay any further. Um, let's well, actually, I've got a question or two for you first, if you don't mind. So one thing is, what, what have you been up to in the pandemic? How did, it, how did that affect your ability to play together? Where, have you been able to? Well, one tactic we, do, we had was we would record at home individually and swap files, and then each player would add their part to it. So we could go on composing and recording that way digitally, mm -hmm. crossing that way. And then last year, we were the first band to open up City Winery in Boston. But Guinea said, pigs, as we said, right? But they said, you can play, but you can't sing. So, right, So we right. put out an album called Speechless to celebrate that, of That's, instrumentals. Right, of course, because obviously with, with the pandemic conditions, the singing was what was the problem. a big hole in our schedule. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But we're back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and since then, we've been down to Florida. We just got back from Pennsylvania, and in a week or two, we're going back up to Maine, to Rockland. Great. So and you guys are back in action yeah. in a big way. And we've got Boston City Winery May 6th. So. Great. And let me just ask one more thing, and that is, I think folks might be curious. Um, you all um, have been doing this for quite a while, but you probably have some day jobs in there as well, I would think. This is not yet your full-time gig, right? So how is it that you manage the commitment to the band with the other things that you have in your lives? Well, I think we're all freelancers. And Paul's boss is very forgiving, and we'll <laughs> let him out for a week at a time. And Jim's in charge of himself. He's an adult, so he can get away too. So it, it's just juggling with freelance and consulting, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And all now right. that everybody works at home, that's you don't right. know when we slip out for a <laughs> <laughs> They didn't before you announced yeah. it to the masses here on ACMI. And, and Carol's a copywriter, so she can write in the tour bus on her laptop, and nobody knows that she's moving at 70 miles an hour while she's billing. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, there's a lot of things that people didn't know before, and now they do. So hopefully that works out well for you. All right, I'm going to get out of the way and ask you to do your thing. Thanks a lot. Thank you. 
homework. Maybe a fool wasting my time by going to school. The way you got me holding the door, I can't do my homework anymore. Bet you got me so blind, running round in circles, about to lose my mind. The way you got me holding the door. 
I can't do my homework anymore. to play to a room without a bunch of people leaning against the bar. This is a song called Beer. We wrote it. I 
but I need a beer. It's cold in here, but I but need, I need a, a beer. beer. And we are back in the studio with Bees Deluxe. Uh, second set upcoming. One question before. This is what this is the cost of getting to play at ACMI. I got to say. So I had mentioned, I had mentioned that uh, that you guys, you know, your your self-identified musical genre is acid blues, as I recall. Tell me. You know, again, just very briefly, and 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 I'd love to hear from all four band members, if possible. What draws you to what drew you to this music? How long has it been the case? Um, lifelong, recent? Tell us a little bit. Should I go first? All right, I'll go first. Yeah. So, I was looking for a new band. I've done a lot of cover band stuff. I was looking for something different, and uh, Conrad. Of five years ago now, almost six, put an ad in the Craigslist with a picture of Bernard Purdy on it and said, answer the ad if you know anything about Bernard. So we ended up hooking up through that, went out and saw them play at Toad one night and uh, forced my way in. <laughs> and I have been here since. All Keep right. showing up as long as they'll have me. <laughs> and who is, pray tell, ah! Bernard Purdy? He's one of the world's most famous drummers. He used to play with Steely Dan, among others. Oh, is that right? Yeah. See? And... And there's actually a drum pattern called the Purdy Shuffle, named after oh. him. Wow. Can you demonstrate it? <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, man. It's tough, man. Yeah. And, and how about the rest of you? How about you, Jim? Uh, you know, I've, I've known Paul for a while, and um, I've always thought highly of the bees. And at one point he said, you know, we, we could probably use somebody else to help out here and there. And I jumped for the chance to play with these guys and haven't looked back since. All right. Well, these two make it sound like the two of you guys you know, were there at the, at, at the oh, outset, no. Oh, obviously. no, oh, no, Conrad was there when Dawn began. But, but right now, we're the senior <laughs> citizens in the band. <laughs> <laughs> but just tell, again, briefly, like, what, what draws you to this particular music? Well, you can go. No, you go. Well, to, for me, it's, it's that it's based in the blues, but the acid part of it makes it more exciting because you can veer off. I think we incorporate a lot of jazz and some um, funk and some rock and roll and some psychedelia and um, we never play the same thing twice and that creativity is what makes us I think different than your average blues band. Cool and Mr. There at the Dawn of Creation. <laughs> well for me I try to explain to new band members that what we're playing is comprised of islands and streams. When you're on an island piece of land that, that's a piece of music that's been written that we're trying to play but then when you jump off the island or in the water, you can play anything until you reach the next piece of land. So we stretch and contract according to how the audience is behaving. If they really like it, we'll stretch that tune because they're dancing or they're enjoying it. And if you feel them getting tense and going to the bathroom for a cigarette, we might curtail that song and move to the next one. Mm -hmm. So it's very elastic. So it's and we very don't, organic, it yeah, seems like. Yeah, it's, it's really made up on the fly. Great. 
Uh, otherwise, why play? <laughs> it, is, it is one of the great joys of, yeah. of, of live musical performance, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let me, speaking of which, let me get out of your way. Okay. Set number two. This next tune is called Imaginary Conversation Between Bjork and Buddy Guy. It's an instrumental that we wrote. tune is called A Quitter Never Wins. It was written by Tinsley Ellis. Like nowadays, nothing's meant to last. One day you have it all, then it disappears so fast. Our love is on and off again. I know you want to quit me, but a quitter. Never wins. I 
know you want to leave after all that we've been through I stick to you like a bottle or two our love is on and off again I know you want to quit me but a quitter Quit me, but a quitter never wins. Wanna quit me? But a quitter never wins. This next song was written for Freddie King by Don Nix and Leon Russell, with respect to him playing in England, which he didn't like doing because he didn't he didn't like the Queen of England. One, two, three. <laughs> Raised up in the city of a way Spend a month of Sundays Talking about the places I've been I played the blues in England I visited the Queen She really thought my style The Queen is not my scene
Bruised up in the sea of the wind I spend a month of Sundays Talking about the places I've been I played the blues in England I visit the Queen She really dug my style The Queen is not my scene I'm going by the dollars Living in the palace of the And take another very quick break and welcome back uh, we are here uh, still with bees deluxe in studio a at, a at acmi uh, all right guys time for the um, last sorry, sorry, sorry. Can we restart? <coughs> thought we might okay all right tell me when to count down all right let's go in five four Welcome back to this session with Bees Deluxe in ACMI's Studio A. All right, guys, so just uh, one set left um, and one question left. Um, just wondering, uh, let's just do a thought experiment and assume that things go the way we all desperately want them to go and we're back to normal life or normal-ish life now and forward. What are your hopes, your ambitions, your plans uh, for the next little while as a band? some more, do some more festivals, do some recording. Maybe we could play in England. We could play in England <laughs> for the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't tell Freddie, right? But right. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, good luck to you with that, and uh, and and you know, good luck to all of us with the with what lies in front of us. I do want to say um, before we uh, get back to the band that um, I said at the outset, this is the kind of thing that we just love to do here at ACMI. Um, and haven't been able to for a while. And so we are really grateful to Bees Deluxe for being here, um, but also to our crew, to our interns, our volunteers, and our staff. It is a c nice combined crew that we have here today, fully staffed on all the cameras and back in the control room. And this is really the fun stuff of what we get to do. So if you are listening and watching, and have a band yourself or know of uh, a band who might be interested, uh, have them reach out to us here at ACMI and we'll see if we can't work uh, a little of the same magic as we did to get Bees Deluxe into the studio. We would love to have that happen. All right, so I'm gonna get out of the way. Three more songs from Bees Deluxe. Thank you, James, and thanks everybody at ACMI. It's great fun to be back here again. Here's a song by Michael Burtz called I Smell Smoke. Thank you. 
they burn me behind my back. I see the fire, see the flame. I find a matchbook in another man's name. Baby, it's no joke. I smell smoke. This song is uh, written by J.B. Lenoir called Talk to Your Daughter. dog the way you treated me. Thank you. 
top All your loving was the same But when I needed a friend You barely knew my name You locked me out stand in for a lot of people's by the way I have to say thank you um, thank you James yeah so that was fun Bobby thank Blue Bland he, he wouldn't he wouldn't treat a dog that way but we can't argue with the way you try, guys treated us this was a special treat today we thank really you. appreciate thank it thank everybody at ACMI yeah. for yeah. hard work thank you these things are so much fun and we can't wait to do uh, welcome the next band in but we really appreciate Beast Deluxe being here that's Carol and Paul and Jim and Conrad we're and happy to come back <laughs> Fair enough. We'll book you. 
Um, and also, as I mentioned, our excellent and stellar crew out there today. We appreciate uh, their efforts and, of course, those of the band. And thanks to you for joining us uh, here at ACMI. So we will see you next time. I'm James Milan. On behalf of Bees Deluxe and our crew here at ACMI, we'll see you next time.